expected value. This is like one of those last things we have to do. Um, it does a probability. So one of the things that probability is coming back into play again. So when we do this, um, again, think about probability. This is going to come back to help you out with this. So expected value. Now, Peter, let's go to that thing. Let's see, would you play this game? You flip a coin and you win four dollars for heads and lose two dollars for tails. So every time you flip a coin, you do heads. You get you get heads is four dollars. Every time you lose it, you get tail uh, tails. You get to lose two dollars. So with that, go ahead and try that right now. Go ahead and use a coin and do like about let's say about ten attempts and see what what you would end up with. What would that dollar amount be? So flip the coin and see if you get heads. Do that about 10 times and see, and go ahead and figure out what the amounts would be at the very end. Now once you do that, go ahead and click play again, and we're going to go ahead and move forward on to the amounts. Now, how could you predict what you would win on the average if you played this game multiple times? So before you... I would have even tried this 10 times like you just did. Like, what? how would you predict to know what the outcome would be? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. That's expected value. We can actually predict what's going on. So let's go and look at that and see what's, going, what's happening here. So first off, we know when it comes to our, our outcomes here, we can either have heads or have tails. So the probability of having a heads is one out of two, one half. Probability of having a tails is one out of two. Now when we do our expected value and all the good stuff, we always have the value is what they told you how much it is. So we said if you got a, a heads, it's gonna be four, four dollars. If you got a tails, it means you're gonna lose two dollars. So a negative two, because you're taking two away. So to figure out what the actual Value would be, expected value, you would go ahead and do this, the total. You do one half times one fourth, and then you do one half times negative two, and then add them up. And you would get an answer of one right here. So your average amount of money that you will win there is actually a dollar. So in this case, would you play it? Would you would you want to play that? Because the average amount is a dollar, but you could also have like an, a negative amount. It could be a big amount, but the average is a dollar. That's what you expect it to get for this. So here, that's what's going on. So let's keep moving forward. So the expected value, since you you win a dollar on average, it's the value that the value could expect to win after playing over and over and over again. Just like gambling, there's like the probabilities of actually getting, uh, um, uh, um, like if you roll a die and you get snake eyes or anything of that sort, there's a probability of that, expected value for that. So you can kind of know ahead of time whether you should do something or not. And so here, if you go back to that first question that we had up here, after we talked about and you already did the 10 times already, sorry, this part here. This part right here. How could you predict? Well, actually, no, not that one. That's what we just did. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. Now, the one I'm talking about is the question very top. This one right up here. Would you play this game? If you know it only gave you dollars, would you play it? Mm, probably not. I, I probably wouldn't because that's not enough money for me. I want more. <laughs> give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Like so, here's the actual definition for expected value. So here, expected value. That's about right. It is the value, or the value is what the player can expect to win or lose if they were to play a game many times. So that's our expected value. That's what you expect to win or to lose when you play the game multiple times. So now let's go ahead and go into more examples here to make to make a little bit more sense. Before I just let you go ahead and start working on practices. 